Good evening, I'm Chief Forecaster Annika Abbott in the First Alert Weather Center. We do have just a touch of marine layer tonight, and you can see that here on our fog tracker. As we get into tomorrow morning, going to get patchier and patchier, off to a sunny start for some of us. And then gradually as the day goes on, bright sunshine. Eventually, these are showing the low-level clouds. We may have some upper-level ones coming in in the second half of the day, making for grayer skies at night. But here's a look at our future track for wind snow gaviota tonight. As typical, getting just a bit of this into tomorrow morning. A nice light breeze with weak offshore winds in San Luis Obispo County. Through the day, we get a light breeze here and there across the region, but really all of this well below advisory levels should be really pleasant and even very, very calm by the later nighttime hours. Now, overall today, we've had high pressure. We've really warmed up. We've had a lot of sunshine, a light breeze. Tomorrow, that breeze even lighter, starting to see an increase in cloud coverage, but a fair amount of sunshine as well. Really nice warm temperature temperatures yet again, but we do start to cool back off on Thursday as a trough is coming in to replace our ridge of high pressure. We're also seeing onshore flow returning. That'll bring a deeper marine layer in addition to those high level clouds that are coming in with the trough. Now temperatures tomorrow though, nice and mild on the south coast, upper 60s to the low 70s. In the Santinez Valley, you've got the upper 70s, mostly 70s further north in Santa Barbara County as well. And San Luis Obispo County, mostly 60s to 70s on the immediate coast. However, San Luis Obispo, Paso Robles in the low 80s, some of the warmest places on the map, and 60s to 70s across Ventura County as well. That's a look at your forecast.